yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, so I just got to the antique mall. I have to go inside and move some things around, and then I can go ahead and start setting up my new stuff. Guys, this is one of my favorite booths. Like, it's so good. It's just so good and so pretty. Like, everything in here. Every time I come over here, I can just literally get lost in it. I love the cloches. Or, well, that's a cake dish, but. Oh. It's just, like, dreamy. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. That's good. So, yeah, today, guys, I am walking to my booth. I'm just trying to get it together. There's a few dealers here. I'm getting their stuff ready for the weekend. So here we are. something around feel like it kind of throws things off so we have to make this look better <laughs> finally fit back in these jeans i'm so happy i think i lost about eight pounds so far but last month i literally couldn't get in them and look how much space i have now that we cleared some space over here i have to bring in the rest of my stuff my goal is to just really get my space as beautifully packed as possible so that way people have lots of things to look at and shop Okay guys, so here is my booth. I have my little rustic wall over here. I'm really thinking about taking that gold mirror down and putting it over there. But y'all see they're cutting the lights out. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour another day because today I have to go. Alright guys, so as you can see, it's snowing. They end up closing the antique mall two hours early because they, you know, they want to get home safely. I totally understand that. I just hate freaking winter. Like, I'm, I'm like on a roll right now. I really want to just finish my booth, have my booth looking really good. You know, have people come out and shop it. You know, I really want that, but, and that's going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen right now. I will have to finish my booth another time. Um, what I ended up doing in the end was styling, like, my neighbor's stuff. And she has a really beautiful furniture, but she always said, like, her strong point is not accessories. 
so I have so many accessories. What I did was I went ahead and styled her shelves and kind of moved some of her furniture around. And that it enabled me to be able to move some of my pieces that don't necessarily fit with my current aesthetic over to her side where they still can be sold, but they also are just making her furniture look beautiful, okay? So that was exciting i also asked one of my other neighbors if i could borrow a piece of his pottery i was like look can i just oh my nail broke Ugh. i was telling kenzie the other day that i really need to just go ahead and take these off they're like in the way completely but um before i go home what i'm gonna do guys is i'm gonna try to hit this thrift store i know you guys probably thinking at this point this girl is obsessed and I'm not obsessed. I just, when I get my mind focused on doing something, I have to get it done. And the place that I'm at right now is like, I need to get this done, okay? So I'm gonna go to the thrift store and see if I can find some accessories because I desperately do need more accessories. Um, since I got those milk crates, it kind of enabled me to stack items and like, then I have that corner shelf, which I'm looking to replace that. I really wanna find like something that doesn't look as cheapy, something that's made out of real wood, something that's not painted. You know, I want something not painted to go in the corner for all of my items and I'm still on the hunt for that. I also feel like a wooden shelf is just gonna make my items like shine more. Since I brought that desk in today that had like the wood top, um, I saw like people immediately gravitate towards that side of the wall. They were really excited to shop it and, you know, see what I had for sale. So that made me feel really, really happy. Um, and it made me happy to help some of my neighbors like merchandise their stuff. So. <laughs> Guys, I decided to do a little bit of thrifting after I left the antique mall. So this is like some old wallpaper. I don't even know, like I know it's not sticky, but I don't know how you really use wallpaper. But I think this would be so pretty on the inside of some piece of furniture. So I got that. <clears throat> I was thinking about getting these baskets. I really like the texture on them. Um, so I was thinking about getting these. I think they're like $4 each or something. I'm trying to be like way more intentional about the things that I buy. So that's why I'm kind of standing here. And then I edited all of that stuff from my cards. My blue and white pieces. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like a little sick of them. But I know this will sell really fast on Facebook Marketplace. This one was only really worth like $5 ever, but look at that, that's so pretty. Someone's gonna love it. And then, this looks like a dog bowl, right? And I'm like, oh my God, this would be so cute for Oreo. So I don't know. <laughs> and then I got these little pots, which I'm going to paint them like this brown color and then rub dirt on them. I know that sounds crazy, but it makes it look like something that it's not and it's pretty. So anyway, I kind of don't want to get the baskets, but I kind of feel like if I don't get them, I'm going to end up regretting it. So yeah, I think I probably should get them. Okay guys, so my day ended great. I went live and started painting this chest and it looks awful. <laughs> But it's okay because like I was telling them online, sometimes things don't always come out how I want them to be. So I'm not mad at it. At least it was, you know, a good try. But oh wait, before I go, because it's freezing out there and it's snowing. So anyway, guys, um, I found this brass, brass and copper um, chest. Okay, it has two drawers on it and little bun feet. And I was like, I just thought it was cute when I was in the thrift store. I was like, sheesh, that's nice. I can't believe it's only $18. So I started doing some research and I found them restored like for like $2,500 from anywhere from $1,400 to $2,500. So I'm sitting here like, okay, this may be worth just getting it fixed. You know what I mean? So I freaking 
messaged so many different people on Instagram. One lady was like, you need to polish it yourself. And I was just thinking to myself, that's a lot of work. And I think, honestly, the finish on this brass on the top is gone. And then... Um, um, I had messaged somebody that had the same table on Instagram and I was like, Hey, do you, did you ever sell this? And she was like, yes. And I was like, how much did you sell it for? And did you have to get yours refinished? And she was like, no, this one was in really good condition, but she was like, I find brass trunks all the time. And she said, unfortunately, like you just have to get them refinished.